This is the situation uh, start of May 1915. Um, things on the Western Front quieting down a little. People are just gathering uh, supplies now for a big push. Certainly the British and French have got some reinforcements and they'll be reopening their uh, Flanders salient offensive um, as, as soon as they get their supplies in for this month. Um, Germany, Germany's bolstered up the uh, Western Front and they're probably in a con condition now where they could launch a counter-attack. They probably won't though because we really want to get back to concentrating on the Eastern Front. Um, there's really only been activity in our 12 Flanders area. There's, there hasn't even been any fighting on the Marne or anything at the moment. Um, so, I think that's the Marne anyway. No, I think it's the Ain actually. It doesn't really matter anyway. Um, in terms of the rest of the front, static. Nothing happened at all. Occasional reinforcements are being moved out, uh, or good units swapped out uh, and sent to the, the active front. Situation in Italy is still nothing happening. That front will activate on the 7th turn of May. So that's worth noting. As for the Eastern Front, German offensive to push the Russians out of East Prussia, stalling. It's not really made much progress recently. Mainly because they've just run out of ammunition and, and they're not getting any reinforcements because the concentration's on the west. Uh, same with the situation outside Warsaw. There's been a few probing attacks, but mainly the offensive is still concentrating on trying to envelop Warsaw from the south. Um, the, the Germans and the Austrians are gradually pushing the Russians back. The Russians are bending, but they're not breaking. So the um, Asian Front has been pretty active all the way along it. How much longer they can keep this going, I don't know. Um, Austria needs to think about Make their demoralisation levels. They don't want to get into a shaken state in 1915. In terms of Serbia, that's all over. Um, there's an Austrian sort of mountain army that's still in Serbia, uh, but it's not very strong. Those are all tiny little 1 4 mountain units. Um, the um, Bulgarian army is pretty much spreading itself along the Greek border. Greek, Greece, of course, at this stage is neutral. Uh, Serbian army is regrouping on Corfu. Situation in Gallipoli is static. I always said this was a pointless invasion. It's just the terrain there is horrendous. And you've got the fact that... Um, there's trenches and things and all. It's, it's not good. And the Allies haven't got enough artillery to do anything. Um, on the Suez Canal, Turks had a go at trying to cross the canal, but that was a bit of a disaster. So that sort of put them off. So it's a bit of a stalemate there. Um, situation in the Caucasus, absolutely nothing happening. The two armies are pretty... Pretty evenly matched. Um, Turks did have a, a, an offensive, but yet again, that, that just petered out because of the, the horrendous ter terrain and, and uh, entrenchments there. Um, situation in Mesopotamia, again, stalemate. The Allies really haven't got the strength to push forward, and the Turks haven't got enough strength to. Uh, to throw the British back from cut. So the big, the big sort of event of this month is the arrival of the Italians. Um, that's going to put a huge strain on the uh, the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Even though they have got units deployed there, and on the basis that they knew there was going to be 
a breakdown of the of, of the front. Um, no, sorry, the breakdown of peace between the two um, nations. Well, we shall see. The, the The problem with Italy is the, the terrain is so bad. Again, it's some of the worst mountain terrain um, on the board. Um, Historically, it was very difficult to make any progress without taking horrendous casualties. But as a, this game plays out, we, we, we've we never reproduced the stupid casualties that took place historically because I just knew from the very start that the certain types of attack are hopeless. And, and you're just throwing people's lives away, which we, even though these are cardboard chits, I'm not prepared to just trash them for no purpose whatsoever.